So I finally landed and I got cleaned up and everything and it's time for a Digimon check-in. So unfortunately, I didn't really have a whole lot of time at the airport like I thought that I would in order to hatch something new. Uh, so I just, I, you know, flew around with uh, Numamon on here and uh, you guys will see some of the B footage from that, but uh, it was a blast, really good flights and everything. It took me a while to get here. Uh, but now that I'm here and I'm sat down, it is time for us to dig into the Digimon, which I packed into a travel cigar case. So I used to work in the cigar industry and I've got a bunch of these sitting around. And I was trying to think, like, what's going to be the best way to travel with all these V-Pets? I've seen a bunch of different people use different things. This just popped out at me and I was like, all right, we got to go. Uh, so check this out. We're going to open up the goodies. Look at that. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good way to travel. Uh, I'm going to try to do two camera shots here. I don't know if it's going to work. I forgot, like, half of the stuff that I meant to. So anyways, here we are. We got all the stuff and uh, I brought down the X devices with me. I gotta flip this, this is killing me. I, uh, I brought the X devices with me uh, so that way we could basically try to finish out the X series. I'm gonna hopefully find a bunch of really cool trails here. It is gorgeous outside. Check out this view that I've got. Anyway, so here we are. Uh, I've got the X devices like I mentioned. And then I ran that poll on uh, YouTube and this was one of the devices that won was my Deep Savers. And the other one was a custom DMC. Uh, this has got a completely new roster on it. I stayed up super late last night. I think I was up to like 3 a.m. this morning, uh, basically modding this guy. So it's got a whole new roster on it. I'm really excited about it. I also used one of the uh, new, like I'm gonna say software. I'll have to credit everyone in the, the text because I can't think of who it is off the top of my head. But I was able to change the evolution timers using that as well so i've got a fast evolution time on this which hopefully means i'll be able to get a lot of different digimon this week it's gonna be really cool uh, i've got to put some batteries into the deep savers otherwise uh, we're gonna go ahead and hatch out uh, digimon here first so let's go to the heads down overview we'll get this guy turned on all right, let's go ahead and get this guy turned on and uh, we'll have something new. So I did do a completely custom new mod on this. There's someone in the Discord and uh, check out that awesome Digimon monster color. I love that intro and uh, dang, look at those. That is so slick. They provided a whole bunch of custom menu options and everything in the Digitama Hatchery Discord. So I snagged those and that's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the device entirely and we will kick off. So I believe it's like 3.30 here. Um, we'll just go with four, that's fine. And look at that, we got my custom egg on there. It was so much fun taking like a original egg and kind of doing some customizations to the color and stuff. Oh, I didn't even change the, uh, the, the egg hatching sequence though. That was Gigimon that hatched and not Gigimon that is on here. Look at that, how freaking cool. Oh, wow, look, I love the way that that color looks. And we got my sushi. And for pills, we got coffee. I know that's what's gonna keep me fueled. In fact, I am starving. I haven't eaten anything since like four o'clock this morning. So uh, after I get these devices going, I'm gonna go grab some grub. I do think I found a uh, sushi place down the road that's like dedicated gluten-free. So for those of you that don't know, I have celiac disease, which means I can't eat most of the good stuff, but I do have to find some kind of special restaurants. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get a battery into the Deep Savers. I'm pretty excited. I have not finished the roster on this yet. Deep Savers is such a good, good device. Really, really have been enjoying it. So we're gonna get a trusty CR2032 in there. Pendulum Z 2.0. It's hard to kind of see that, there we go. And we're gonna go ahead and load in. I don't know if I've got anything running on this or not, but we'll find out. Yeah, that's good enough. Nope, we got a, I got a computer, so here we go. Here we go. Nice. Go ahead and get you fed, buddy. Now, as I mentioned in that YouTube post, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn off all of the sounds. The only one I'm not turning the sound off for is gonna be my new Mamon. And that's because me and uh, Wario Digifarm and DigiDan and VPet Snaps, we're all trying to do a keep alive challenge. See who can keep these things alive the longest. And uh, I know if I turn the sound off of this, he's gonna die. So <laughs> we're not turning the sound off on that one, but otherwise everyone else, so cool, uh, so I got everything. I'm gonna go out into the city. We're gonna find something to eat and I'm gonna go do some stuff and then I'll check back in with you guys later tonight.
so I'm uh, eating here at this place called uh, Lucky Robot down here in Austin, and it is gorgeous. Uh, it, this place is absolutely beautiful, but I wanted to go ahead and check in with some of the Digimon because the color version has already evolved. Like I said, I boosted that time frame quite a bit, so check this out. So as you can see, our baby Demon went ahead and evolved into a Gazimon. Absolutely love Gazimon. He's become one of my favorites, honestly. Uh, definitely hands down one of my favorites. Just an awesome dude. Let's go ahead and get some training in. Oh man, missed it. Gazimon shooting fire. I didn't update any of the attack uh, animations, so <laughs> we're gonna have some weird ones on here, that's for sure. Nabumon here is already tired, so we're gonna go ahead and just make sure he's got hunger or strength. We're good to go there, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put him to sleep for the night. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Hiramasa, Magaro, Big Eye Tuna, Chiki Toro. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. No problem. a shot this is the hokkaido uni japanese sea urchin and uh, i thought i would try this for my pal cory who lives in hokkaido so missing you buddy i hope you're doing all right and i hope you're enjoying the video so let's give this a shot i've never had sea urchin before but this looks incredible Very unique, very, very unique, but I really like that. It is, um, I mean, listen, it is rich and buttery, and it really is. I wasn't quite expecting that. It's really good, though. So, the lucky robot was incredible, absolutely astounding. And the very first question they asked me was if I had any allergies. So, it's even better for me. Most places don't even think about anything like that. Uh, so, I was hoping to go find a trail or something, but it looks like sun's already kind of setting. So, what I'm gonna do, since I'm in this like really cool downtown area, I found this collectible store called Monkey See, Monkey Do. So that's what I'm going to go check out, see if I can find it. On the way, I'm going to be playing with the new 25th anniversary Digivice. Loving it so far. It's so much fun. I really like what this says. Exist to inspire. This actually really reminds me of uh, something I was talking to Wario Digifarm about the other day. Kind of talking about like, you know, in the Digimon world, their kids, the Digidestin, they had these crests assigned to them that was kind of based off of their personalities, right? So what would your crest be? It doesn't have to be one from the show. It could be one from really anything. Like, just make one up. What, what would you think that your crest would be? Uh, you know, after talking to him for a little bit, I kind of decided that my crest would probably be the crest of encouragement because I absolutely love to tell people and make sure people know, like, you can do anything you want. You can get out there and you can go do vlogs like this if you want. You can go and learn programming or you can go and learn how to raise animals. I don't know, whatever. Like, literally, I really truly believe that every single one of you out there can do anything that you put your mind to. You just have to have the right time and the right resources. So. Um, like I said, I think I'd, I think I'd have the crest of encouragement. If I had to go for uh, something from the show, it would absolutely be the crest of courage, though. I'm kind of the first one to dive in and just go do something crazy. So either way, uh, crest of encouragement, crest of courage. What would your crest be? I want to know. Leave it in the comments down below. Run over by anything? Come on, Metal Greymon. Take him out. I think I got him. Yes, <laughs> I got him.
So we're back at the hotel. Time for a Digimon check-in. Let's go into the deep savers here. Still got an Upamon. And at the moment, let's see. Looks like no care mistakes as far as I can tell. No effort though. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little effort in. So while I'm training the Upamon here, just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Lucky Robot. Awesome sushi place. Really liked it. And the other place that I stopped at was the uh, toy store. It was a collectible shop called Monkey C monkey do and i thought that was a really cool place i'm gonna have lots of videos of it i picked up some pretty cool things there um, one of the things i wanted to show you guys and i'm pretty excited about my son's absolutely obsessed with kirby and i really wanted to bring him some kind of a souvenir since i'm away for a little bit and i found this guy how freaking cool is that he's gonna love it uh, i'm pretty stoked about it Let's get him done here in the video and the other thing that i got my beautiful wife absolutely loves frogs, and I found this really cool pin. Are you gonna focus? Check out that guy. And she used to voice a character for us in one of the podcasts that we used to do together. Uh, his name was Poe, and it was, it was an awesome little like frog ninja rogue character in a D&D &D podcast we used to do. One of my favorite characters of all time, and, and I know that it was a fan favorite, and so ever since I think we've had a bit of a thing for frogs, and I saw that immediately had to get it. I actually turned around and walked out of the shop, and as I turned around it caught my eye, so I had to go back in and get that. And then I picked up a little something for myself too. Pretty excited about these two things here. So I'm not a huge, huge into Pokemon. I used to be back in the day, like when I was a kid, but they had these cool little Pokemon frames is what they're called. And I thought that it would be cool to basically take one of these, build it, and then just swap out the Pokemon for a Digimon. And then my trip out to find Digimon cards was unsuccessful. However, I did find some kind of neat things at that Monkey See Monkey Do. So we got uh, some Power Rangers like collectible cards. And then I saw these. I thought they were really neat, and I thought that kind of looked like Numamon a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So I figured I'd grab a pack and see what all was in that. And then I couldn't pass up my boy Green Lantern. Pretty excited about that. Boom. Back over here to Upamon, though. I want to get at least one effort bar. I haven't checked the Humulus website to see what the Deep Savers is going to evolve into, so no idea what we're going to get. Uh, but either way, check out that close-up. Upamon is so freaking cool. So we're going to train him and get maybe one, two effort bars in play. And then uh, let's go take a look at Gazimon and see how he's doing. I absolutely love all of the icons that I replaced. The, the mods for these are just incredible. Look at that hunger icon, strength icon, effort, energy, victories. Gosh, this is just, it's incredible, honestly. Let's get you taken care of. We're going to give you some overfeeds, bud. I don't know what he's going to turn into. But there we go, we got you one overfeed, my friend. And then as far as training goes, let's see, what does his effort look like? So he's got two effort? Yeah, he's got two effort, so cool. So we got two effort there, and uh, we'll just have to see where they go from there. Super freaking cool. All right, let's open up some cards and see what we got. First up, we got these cosmic cards. Now, as you know, probably from the ring alone and probably all the figurines you've seen in the background, I love Green Lantern. It's one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite DC characters of all time. I've been collecting Green Lantern since I was probably like six or seven years old. Absolutely love the whole concept of willpower and just being able to conjure anything from your imagination using willpower. It's so freaking cool. One of the best weapons in all of comic book history, in my opinion, is the Green Lantern ring. Uh, so when I saw these cards, I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get a pack of these. <laughs> All right, let's open these things up. Oh, that's so cool. Crisis on Infinite Earths. We got a Shazam, Hawkman, Black Lightning, Power Girl. Oh, that's an old school Power Girl. That's dope. Wonder Woman, Katana. If I don't get a Green Lantern, I'm gonna be bummed. Psycho Pirate, Superman. Dr. Polaris. There we go. Oh, Guy Gardner. <laughs> How sweet. Look at that. That's so sick. And then it looks like we got a uh, Millennium. Uh, great battles. So this is pretty cool. Let's check out the Power Rangers next. Um, I did that Megazord uh, virtual pet video. Gosh, this is so much fun. My son and I play with them a lot. We have a blast with them. 
hoping for a green ranger. Maybe a white ranger, it'd be cool. Those are those are always my two favorite. Uh, let's see what we got. Zordon. I wonder if these are official. <laughs> oh, look at this. It says how to play. Read each question and select an answer from the five choices. To reveal the correct answer, overlay the Power Ranger amazing answer board. The correct answer is indicated by an X. Huh, okay. I don't know uh, if we're going to have questions or what, but we got a Zordon. Oh, and then, okay, we got this back here. In what competition are both Tommy and Jason experts? Oh, martial arts? That's obvious. <laughs> Check out this thing. We got like a shark beast monster. What's we, what does it say on the back? Which monster look alike did Rita send to the costume party at the youth center? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, hey, look. Here, here's the uh, amazing answer board. So here are the ones that I've answered. Let's see. Let's see. Frankenstein. Cool. I didn't know that one. What do we got? Oh, it's Kimberly and it's uh, uh, Billy. And it's the, the episode where they're like, they turn bad, I'm pretty sure. I think Rita uses a spell on them or something and like, makes them evil for an episode. It's so goofy. What is formed when the Power Rangers put all five of their weapons together? Ooh, that would be the Power Blaster? Hmm. Well, now I'm not sure. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yep, Power Blaster, sweet. I had that one right. What's next? Uh, it looks like this was from uh, like a Halloween episode or something. It looks like we got uh, it's at least Zach and the Red Ranger Jason. I don't know who's over here though. Which teenager is the Green Ranger? Well, that's Tommy. That one's obvious. <laughs> it depends though. If you're reading the comic series, there's actually two or three different Green Rangers, and uh, they're all pretty cool. So it looks like this is just a checklist. Uh, that's all right. What do we got here? Oh man, they're fighting some sort of monster. What does Rita hurl to Earth, causing her monsters to grow into giants? Her magic wand. That one's obvious. Oh, we got Bulk and Skull. Freaking awesome. These guys are iconic. I mean, there's like, if you watched Power Rangers growing up, you know who Bulk and Skull is. They're just so much fun. What is the name of Angel Grove's high school principal? Ooh, that's a good one. I want to say it's Mr. Smith. Like, it's probably just something super obvious. Uh, Mr. Kaplan. Okay, I didn't know that one. Very cool. We got three of the Rangers there. Zack, Billy, and Trini. And let's see. Which Power Ranger did Rita Repulsa originally have control over? Obviously, the Green Ranger. Dope. Speaking of Green Ranger. Gosh, that's so cool. The Green Ranger had to have been just like one of the coolest villains. There's a meme that goes around talking about how like kids these days will never understand the amount of stress the Green Ranger would cause because he just showed up and like wrecked face. <laughs> it was so crazy. Oh, what's the question? What's the question? What do we got? How long were Rita Repulsor and her alien cronies in prison before they escaped? 10,000 years, right? It's gotta be 10,000 years. Yeah, 10,000 years. Sweet, we got the Black Ranger with that power ax. Gosh, that thing is so freaking dope. What is the name of the town in which the Power Rangers live? Angel Grove. That one's obvious. No idea who that is. That's pretty uh, pretty scary, though. In what type of dwelling does Rita Repulsa live? She lives in a castle. Surely that's the answer. Yeah, castle. And we got the planet Earth. Which of the teenagers is the Blue Ranger? Billy. And then I guess this would be like our rare. It's got this like rainbowy stuff around it. Just some putties. And yeah, let's see what we got on the back here. Troublemakers. The putty patrol is at it again. They're always causing trouble. Power quiz. What is the name of the largest desert in the world? Secret coded answer. Code number equals letters in the alphabet. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go into the next one. I'm excited to open these up. These look like they're going to be fun. <laughs> see what we got facts your friends don't know the bark of a redwood tree is fireproof fires in redwood forests take in place inside the trees that's interesting i did not know that it sounds fake <laughs> that's a cool nifty little looking monster how many words can you find in skateboard example breaks uh, i'm not playing a word game 
We got Nate. Oh, look at that guy. He can smell for days. Nostrum on. <laughs> Which one is different? Oh God, that is a brain teaser. Looking through the camera, I don't immediately see. All right, folks, A, B, C, D. Tell me down in the comments which one's different. We got number five. And it looks like we got some stickers. Oh, that's cool. Those are actually pretty dope. That is kind of a freaky looking, like I could definitely use these for a Numamon in that mouth too. Not the tail, but like this could be a really fun uh, something or other to make. And then what is this? I have no idea what this is. Maybe it's a monster that goes with this. Like, I don't know, maybe you fold this up or something. I don't see any way to make anything out of this though. My brain does not work like that. So I don't know, maybe if you've seen these before, you know what this is, let me know, that'd be great. But I think that will bring us to an end for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely a little bit different for me. I don't normally do these kinds of things, but I thought I would give it a shot and just since I'm out having a good time uh, in Texas and doing something a little bit different than I normally do, why not bring you guys along with me and uh, have a bit of a Digimon adventure while I'm at it. So thanks for tuning in and hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time.